YouTube, welcome to my channel, Taylor Talks Tales. Today I have a, another book review for you guys on the short little novel, Elizabeth, by Ken Greenhall. So, this book is very, very short. Only took me, really, a couple hours to get through it. Um, but I'm going to read the blurb to you on the back and we're going to get started on it. The image in the mirror of 14-year-old Elizabeth Kuttner is that of the fae and long-dead Francis, who introduced Elizabeth introduces Elizabeth to her chilling world of the supernatural. Through Francis, Elizabeth learns what it is to wield power. Power of a kind that is malevolent and seemingly invincible. Power that begins with the killing of her parents. First published in 1976, Ken Greenhall's debut novel Elizabeth is a lost classic of modern horror fiction that deserves rediscovery. So, this book was very good. Um, it's you know, came out in the 1970s, and I do think parts of it almost feel a little bit like that, um, but I don't see anything wrong with it, and, um, I first heard about this because I think it was on, like, a paperbacks from hell suggestion list, um, and because it has witchcraft in it, and I'm all about witches, um, and, like, powers and stuff like that, um, I thought it was pretty interesting. So we follow 14-year-old Elizabeth, who is a very chilling narrator, um, I thought, the writing in this was really good because she basically has, like, she just describes everything kind of the same, so it gives her very much like a, almost like a psychopath-esque feel to her. Um, and she even, like, says, there's a line in here that's basically saying, she, I only have one mood. Um, and so she pretty much starts seeing this woman in the mirror um, named Frances, who is her ancestor, and Frances is basically trying to coach her on how to um, come into her powers, and from there she just basically wants to do what she wants to do. She refuses to go to school, so um, her aunt and uncle, because her parents die, um, her aunt and uncle decide to have her get tutored by various people, um, and one of the tutors is like trying to help Elizabeth, and she's sort of Elizabeth's main conflict in the book. Um, and what's really cool with this book that I found is that you actually don't really ever know, and it goes back and forth about whether Elizabeth actually has powers, or if this is all in her head, her imagination, um, if things are just falling into place or not, um, which I thought was really, really cool, because the whole time you're kind of thinking, really, yes, no, is she just this, like, really creepy, bad seed type of girl, or is she actually turning into a witch? um, what's going on kind of thing, and I, I really liked that aspect of it. And also the writing was really good, um, like very, very descriptive, um, despite it being so short, you really get into that, and it has this atmosphere, and, you know, keeps you going along, just trying to figure things out. Um, I will point out, uh, there, she, so she's 14, but she ends up having sexual encounters with men who are much, much older than her, almost in a Lolita-esque fashion, but I can see that it would upset some viewers. I kind of just plowed through it, and the sex scenes aren't really described. Um, again, she's just very, like, sort of mechanical about certain things, but, um, but I do want to point that out because, especially because it came out in the 70s, there are a few problematic things in the book, um, but I think because it's interesting and it's really short, um, you know, I think you can kind of get through it. In fact, I would kind of compare um, Ken Greenhall to Shirley Jackson a little bit in sort of the way he writes things and sort of the story and sort of um, the feel of it. So I was, you know, really glad to read this. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'd probably give it four out of five stars um, because I did find a couple of issues with it. Um, not even just for the, you know, 14 year old girl having sex that didn't actually that wasn't why it knocked the stars off I actually think it could have been a little bit longer and um, there are a couple things I would have changed in it but can't get into that without spoiling the book for you um, but ultimately I think it's it's fun atmospheric just super quick super easy to read um, just kind of know what you're getting into um, especially with the you know underage girl and some uncomfortable things that do come up because um, it, again, came out in the 70s. Thank you so much for re uh, for watching my video. If you've read this, let me know what you thought of it. Um, or if you have any suggestions, kind of books that's similar to it, let me know. 
Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Happy reading. Bye.